Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about Cloudflare tunnels and then adding an extra layer of security. In my last video, check my description below, I talked about Cloudflare tunnels and how you can use it to open up your network and your internal applications to the internet, expose them to the internet without opening up anything in your firewall. So you don't have to open ports or port forwarding in your firewall, just configure Cloudflare tunnels point it to the internal applications or SaaS applications and be able to securely open it up, expose it to the internet for your end users, for example. Cloudflare Tunnel is, of course, part of the Zero Trust platform from Cloudflare. And there are several options there, but one of those options I want to talk about today, that's protecting those applications from that Cloudflare Tunnel using an extra added layer of security. Let's get into it. Now, as you can see here, I have my Cloudflare tunnel running on my Docker host, as well as my WordPress website and the database. There is, those are all running in containers. So that's nice. That means if I check my Cloudflare tunnel, I can see that my tunnel is up and running. That's the Docker container here responsible for that. Now it's up and running. And if I click on it and click on configure, I will be able to see the applications I have there. If I click on public host tab, then I will see that I have the application I created to expose to the internet. In this case, the tunnel internally is reaching out to this internal IP address and opening up that application to the internet. So that's nice. Now, of course, when I click here and I open the website, I can reach my WordPress installation, my WordPress website from that DNS. Now publishing my WordPress website to the internet, using Cloudflare Tunnels, what I've done now is I have also published that admin portal from WordPress to the internet. So that means that that wp-admin URL, that path in the URL is now accessible from the internet as well. Um, of course, you have to enter a username and a password there to, uh, to log in. But for extra peace of mind, I want to protect this portal, this path with an extra feature and Cloudflare is providing me with one. So let's go back to Cloudflare and I'm in the tunnels part and let's click on application because what I'm, what I need to do is I need to create an application here and set up an extra option for an extra authentication step. So I will click on add an application. Now my application is self-hosted because I have WordPress running in my own network. It's self-hosted. That's fine. Let's select that. And I will have to enter a name. I will keep it just easy because the application I want to protect, that's the WordPress admin portal. Select the domain name. Of course, that's the same domain name you're using within the Cloudflare tunnel option. And this is the important part because I want to protect that wp-admin URL. So that's what I need to enter here. And if you scroll down, you can see there are several options there as well to configure or to check out. This is fine for me and I will click on next. Next is policies. You have to enter a policy name. I will keep it just as simple as the other one, just WordPress admin policy. And I will leave the action and the session duration at a default settings and scroll a little bit down and check the configure rules. Now this is the interesting part because configure rules give me the option to set up specific types of extra protection, extra authentication before I can enter that WordPress admin portal. So that's very interesting for me because what I can do now here is say, in order to access that WordPress application, that admin portal I am creating, I need you to send me an email and send me an email only if that email address is ending on this domain. So what this will do is it will create an extra authentication layer before I can enter my WordPress admin and it will ask me for enter your email address and I can enter any email address there as long as I have configured the value here, right? So in my case, I can just enter my email address that's vikash at vikash.nl and because it recognizes that domain name here in the configuration, it will send me an authentication token, which will enable me to access that WordPress admin portal. 
So as you can see here in the dropdown, there are several other options you can use to set up several different authentication methods. I will just keep it on the email. Now, the rest of the options I will leave there. I will click on next. And again, I don't need to mess with these options. Just scroll down and say add application. As you can see here, the application is successfully configured and I have it running here. Now, what happens is if I want to access that wp-admin URL now. So let me open up a new tab and I will just enter that URL here. Now, this is what's happening. Cloudflare recognizes that path, that application I created using that w p dash admin option there and what it does it's now redirects me to the authentication method i have defined the access method i have defined in the application right so this is the application once again if i click on it and i click on you can see it actually here in the details but if i click on configure i'm able to click on that and i have configured this extra rule in there this extra rule says that whenever someone wants to access my WordPress admin application, prompt them for an email address. And by the way, that email address can only be in the domain vikash.nl in my case. So that's what's happening here. I entered that workplay modernworkspace.blog slash wp dash admin URL in the browser and it's redirecting me and telling me, right, you need a login code to be emailed to you in order to access that portal. All right, that's fine. I will enter my email address here and click on send me a code. Now let's wait for the code to arrive. As you can see here, it's now telling me, okay, check your email and there will be a code in there. If you have the code, you can enter the code and then you can enter that URL finally, that portal finally. So I got the code in the email. I'm entering it here and click on sign in. All right, so Cloudflare now has added that extra protection layer in front of that admin portal for WordPress. I need to enter an email address there and that email address needs to be ending in the domain name vikash.nl. Of course, you can add multiple domain names here if you need to. Uh, and then it will email me uh, authentication token. I need that token to actually access the actual website behind that application. And in this case, that's my WordPress admin portal. How cool is this? It just works. Now, as you can see, adding an extra layer of protection for your applications, which you are publishing using Cloudflare tunnels, that's very easy. There are several options there as well. You can check out which of the options you need to enable that extra layer of security, uh, being it an email address, authentication codes, tokens, etc. I'm sure there is an option which will fit your need. Now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you again.